welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I live in Louisiana and I am so grateful that you stopped by for a visit today. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack, and a project to work on and let's visit. Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by to visit with me today. And I hope you're having all having a great day. It is a beautiful day here in Monroe, Louisiana today. We had storms yesterday and the sun is shining and it is really pretty today. And I think it's supposed to be like all week. Very pretty. And even the weekend, we're supposed to have temps up in the 80s. So, yeah, um, summer's almost here. <laughs> So I hope you're having good weather today, or if you're having bad weather, I hope it passes quickly. But today I thought we would talk about crochet hooks. My crochet hook preference has changed a lot over the years. And I have found that, you know, sometimes certain hooks work best for me, and then other times uh, different hooks. Also, I find that with yarns, different hooks works better you know sometimes when i'm crocheting with a cotton yarn i need a susan bates head and when i'm crocheting with just acrylic i, I like a boy um type head that was a bad choice <laughs> i was doing so little <laughs> i like a boy um type head so it, it depends on the yarn, it depends on the project, it depends on how many fingers I'm losing. I mean, as I lost this last finger right here, um, I was crocheting on a project with this hook right here. It is a, um, a boy, oh, a boy type hook, clover type, if you want to say, um, and I like this hook. It's one of my. It's my favorite six millimeter J hook because it fits really well in my hand. I don't know. It's just a perfect fit. And I was using this all the time for projects when I use a six millimeter hook or J. But after I lost that finger, my tension is different, and so it is splitting my yarn really bad. And so I decided to lay that down and I picked up, I didn't have a six in that. So I picked up a, um, a 5.5. And so I started crocheting with this. I'm still having some trouble with the yarn splitting. It's not the yarn, it's me. <laughs> but I think this type of head is helping a little bit. Not perfectly, but it helps a little more. But I can I can change back and forth. So when I first started crocheting, I didn't know the difference in hooks. Not not I didn't know anything. I don't even know what hooks I started with. I'm looking over I'm looking at all my different hooks throughout here. I don't even know what I started with in the beginning. Uh probably just some regular just some regular hooks that probably came from Walmart or Michaels or Hobby Lobby. They're no name. Um, and these are like the boy style hooks. Um, or clover, you might call them. And maybe I was using that in the beginning. I don't know. I had these. I did have these in the beginning. I had a, this blue one and this pink one. And they are a 5 millimeter H hook and a um I I had these two somewhere up in the beginning or something similar to them if it wasn't the exact ones but um and they were they are the Susan Bate heads so I had something like that in the beginning I can't remember which what I was using in the very beginning but then I learned about the clover hooks let me see, I have some clovers over here. Then I learned about clover hooks, and I don't see my little blue one. Oh, there it is. I, I just ordered this little blue one one time. Um, 
as I heard about clover hooks, I looked on Amazon and this little H was on sale. Look how dirty that is. <laughs> it's it's caked up in the H and the the uh, 5.0. So I learned about this hook and I looked on Amazon and it was on sale for like maybe five dollars or maybe even less than that. So I ordered it and when it came in. I was just crocheting it with like that and it was just so smooth and just wonderful and I called this my magic wand <laughs> and I tried to crochet everything with this five H hook the five millimeter because it was just like magic <laughs> I could crochet anything all of a sudden okay <laughs> so I really did like that and eventually I did get a whole set um, of clover hooks they're not all right here. I have a whole set in my go bag. And the others are kind of just scattered around. But I do have a set of these. And then, um, so I was using those and I, I really loved those. But I could also switch back to these. I kept some of these in the car. These are like no names, but very, um, very crocheteable. I'm not. I'm not one that says, oh, I only use this or I only use that. Sometimes the yarn tells me what hook to use. When I'm crocheting with a yarn and it's just not going well with that particular yarn, I'll change hooks and try different hooks until, and then, you know, the next hook might be like, oh, this is, this works with that. But I know a lot of times with cotton yarns, like those, the kitchen cotton, the little balls you can buy, um, you know, at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I guess Walmart used to have them. I ain't seen those at Walmart in a long time, but I'm talking about those little bitty balls of kitchen cotton that you would do dish rags and stuff with. To me, a Susan Bates head works best for me with it. No, it might not for you. But when I use um, a boy style hook head, I know this is a clover, but, you know, it's like the boy style hook. When I use that type of hook with the kitchen cotton, it splits like crazy on me. So I just cannot use something like that. I have to use the Susan head. So I think, for me personally, I think all hooks have a place and a time with certain yarns. So, yeah, I hang on to my hooks. I don't get on, I don't get rid of them because um, that hook might come in handy. And actually, what I'm finding right here, I, okay, so I've lost fingers. When I first started crocheting, I don't know how many fingers I was missing at the time when I first started. But over the years, I've lost a few more fingers since I learned to crochet. Two for sure. Two more for sure, maybe even three more since I learned started crocheting. But after I lost this pinky last in 2022, I lost this pinky that was right here. And after I lost that pinky, I had to start using a little um, strap on my hand to to get started with projects because I need to use my thumb there whenever I was chaining. And so I have these little I have these little straps all over the place in different kind of forms. I have to keep this one at my desk. I have one in my purse. I have one in my go bag. I have one in my yarn room. I just have these. I think I even have one in the doll room. <laughs> I just have these kind of straps um, anywhere that I might crochet or might need one to crochet. So. Um, but I am finding, okay, this six millimeter hook works really good in that, but I do use the five millimeter hook and I'm finding it's kind of a little bit big in there. So I was just thinking this five millimeter hook handle looks bigger and it does fit in there a little uh, more snug. So I may have to use that. I'll keep that in mind when I start to use a five millimeter hook again so anyway these down here are just no no name brands 
they either came from Walmart, um, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Amazon, somewhere like that. And there's all different sizes. And this is not, this is like more than one set, I believe. Um, now, I will say this. Some of my favorite, favorite hooks I only use here at my desk. Um, sometimes I don't take my favorite hooks out with me. Because if I lose that favorite hook, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> If I do take this hook out with me, I make, I'm like constantly checking to make sure I haven't lost it, okay? So I would rather take um, a cheaper brand that's not my favorite, but I can still crochet with it. I would rather take something like that out with me when I leave the house. So these right here are... Um, clovers mostly i think there's a few more odd ones stuck in here but that's okay I, I don't that's just where i was sticking clovers at one time now for a metal hook like this um i can't just use that because the metal gets cold and it affects my ray knobs and um affects my hands so i can't use just a metal crochet i have to have um rubber on it in some kind of way or either a handle or something like that let's see what i've got over here and i was gonna stick these clovers right there we're gonna talk about all these i have more over here <laughs> and I, I really have a few in the in my yarn room that i didn't grab this one um it is definitely a boy because it says so on here boy hook and this is an 8 millimeter, And I think I might have bought this at Michael's. We were out of town. And I was working on a project. And the, the hook I had, which I think was this, was not working with that yarn. And I felt like I needed to go up. And so I ended up getting this, buying this hook. I believe at a Michael's. I'm not for sure on that. Or it might have been a Walmart. But, yeah. So, it's stuck right here. I don't know um, exactly why. This hook here is a 10 millimeter hook. And it is really, really big. I don't know what I was using it for. I can't remember. But it's definitely a lot bigger than this 8. But when I have a, a um, project with blanket yarn... That's where I use these bigger hooks. I use a lot bigger hooks with those. And then this is one of these um, no-name brand. I don't, I can't even see what size it is. I'd have to take this off. I probably need to take that off and figure out what it is and write it on the outside here. Because it's probably written... I could see it, but it's hurting my fingernails. <laughs> anyway, I need to write that on there. Um, then at some point, let's see, I found these hooks at Michael's. No, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. These are Hobby Lobby hooks. And it is hard for me to see the... Um, it tells what size it is right here. It's hard for me to read that. Now, I could write on it, but it's going to wear off anyway. Um, but I can use these hooks just fine. But I will tell you this. I, I did not realize this about myself until way later into my crochet years. Um, I was just crocheting with anything and everything. It didn't matter to me. And then at some point, I figured out that I like a hook with a short shaft. I didn't realize that's why I always went to these hooks. But I do like a hook with a short shaft. And these have a long shaft. Now, I can crochet just fine with them. Um, I do have a little bit of trouble as I've lost fingers crocheting with a longer shaft. 
but these are a plastic they have some rubber on the handle but they're plastic um my neighbor was going she was flying out of town and i did give her these to take with her on the plane um because we didn't know how it would work with taking metal hooks because she has she had a set of these but she thought and we were just she was still visiting and we were talking and we were talking about the metal hook we were talking about you know if they take them because, you know, um, clover hooks are not cheap. And she was afraid they might take her hooks when she was checking in or whatever, you know. And so I said, take these. And I, I got these up and I said, take these with you. And if they keep them, it's not, it's not a big deal. These were not expensive hooks. They're Yarnology at Hobby Lobby. Um, you know, I wouldn't even have to replace them. If, if something happened to them, you know, just take these and use these. And I really was just giving them to her, but then she brought them back to me. And I was like, no, you can have those. And she said, I don't need them. She said, I prefer, you know, to use this hook, the clovers. So they ended up back in my possession. And I do grab them sometimes and use them for different things, different projects. And then this hook is very comparable to those. This is a, um, trying to see if I can tell what size hook this is. It's a J. This is a J hook. But again, it has a long shaft. And, um, but it's comfortable to hold. And I can crochet with it. It's very comparable to these hooks. So I keep it, it lives with them. So they all live together in this little cubby hole. And I'll just go ahead and tell you right quick. You may be wondering what it is I have my hooks in. This is an old sugar mold. It has um it has these holes in there like that. And they used to pack these with sugar. Like they would have this thin paper, kind of like a parchment paper type thing that they would stuff in there and then just pack it with sugar real tight and pull that cone out and it was a sugar cone and so those are really old and sometimes here we can find them at flea markets and so back when I used to do flea markets um, I would come across them every now and then or at auctions and stuff and I got a few of them I had my kids each had one at their desk in their bedrooms growing up and they had like um, pencils, pens, paint brushes, colored pencils and stuff like that that they kept in those. And then after my son Elijah was moving out, he dumped all the pens and all that kind of stuff. And then he said, do you want this? And I was like, yeah, I'll put my crochet hooks in it. So it came to live on my desk. <laughs> So that's what that's what this is. It's a sugar mold. Okay, so next cubby sugar mold hole there. These are clovers, but they're the plastic clovers. And I know I've used this one quite a bit. This is an eight millimeter. And I use that with like a um maybe a six millimeter. I mean a six bulky yarn or a five weight yarn. I've used that a lot with that, depending on what I'm making. If I'm making a blanket, I would want to go up to a bigger hook. But like an amigurumi or something like that, I can use this. Um, this one is a 9. It's a um, clover, plastic clover too. This one is a 9, and I was using it to make that shark that I... I'm going to complete at some point when I get the yarn. <laughs> um, I'm working on it. I'm like checking everywhere for that. So this is a um, nine millimeter here and it's just different sizes. Um, like this is a K 6.5 and this one's a seven, but I do like these plastic hooks. Um, I think they, the yarn glides really well on them. And I have no problem using these whatsoever. I really don't have a problem using any hooks that I would say. Now, there's some, like I said, it depends on the yarn I'm using. Because if I'm using a certain yarn, I might grab one of these. And if the, that might, the yarn might glide well on that. 
or the yarn might glide better on this. It just kind of depends. This hook um, is a little bit deeper than this clover hook. It's not quite so deep. I kind of like the deeper hook because it grabs my yarn and pulls it on through better. My yarn will slip off sometimes with this. Now, it used to, I could just whip around, whip, 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 and just crochet as fast as I could with this little hook. But as I've, as crocheting has become more difficult for me, um, I find that sometimes that's not the best hook for me. Okay, I'll stick that one in here since it is one of those. Um, and then not too long ago, maybe a couple years ago, Hobby Lobby, and I believe they still do have these hooks. They came out with these hooks right here that are very pretty. They're very pretty. And um, they are the boy type oh, heads also. But um, anyway, they have a shorter shaft, and so that's why I did pick these up. I didn't pick them all up at one time, but eventually, I, every time I'd go in, and they were having yarnology stuff 50% off every other week at that time. And so I would get a hook when I would go in. And so a lot of people did buy these hooks because they were pretty. And then a lot of people complained about the hooks because they said the handle was sticky. Now, my handles are not sticky, and I do have a video to show you how to get rid of that stickiness. And I will link that video in the description box under this video in the description box. So, check that out, and we'll, I'll show you how to get rid of that stickiness, because mine are not sticky whatsoever. They feel silky, actually. And then at some point, this is an ink, uh, not an ink pen, but a marker, disappearing marker. At some point, um, maybe in the last year or two, I came across these dot hooks. These are called dots hooks. And um, to me, these are very comparable to the boy hooks. I mean, not boy, clover, sorry, the clover hooks. They are the boy style um, heads. They are the boy style heads. I'm just kind of looking around to see if I have any of these stuck anywhere. Because <laughs> I'm bad about that, um, sticking them in different places. But anyway, um, what I do like about these is... The handles are all the same size. Now, on these clover hooks, when the size goes smaller, so does the handle. The handle gets smaller. I, I don't even know where my four is, but see how smaller the handle just keeps getting smaller? Well, if you have hand issues, most people, I know I do, with hand issues, I want a bigger handle because it's easier to hold. So as these get, I, I've never been able to use these small ones unless I stick them in something like this now or if I stick them in one of these, then I can use them. But to hold this tiny hook that cramps up in my hand very quickly. It cramps up real quick. But on these dot hooks, the handles are all the same size, no matter what size the hook is. So that's really nice. But these hooks, I, I think they're very comparable to clover. I'm not saying they're the exact same as the clover hooks, but for me, I can crochet just fine with these. They glide just great. If you've been wanting clovers, but they're out of your price range, check out these dots. They are um, very nice hooks. They are. And I do like, um, I like the length of the handle. And 
if you're new to crochet, you probably need to decide. You need to try out some different hooks and decide. Do you like a long handle, a short handle? That might be a little bit shorter. Do you like a long handle or a short handle? But then also decide, do you like a long shaft or a short shaft up here? Like this would be a long shaft to me. And this one is a short shaft. So you have to decide what do you crochet best with. What feels comfortable in your hand. And what, you know, helps you crochet the easiest with. So that your hands aren't cramping up and causing you issues. It may be you just need to change hooks. So anyway, I do like those hooks there. And then someone sent me these hooks here, and I have used those, these a lot also. Um, they are the boy type heads. And I like these because they have the mermaid scale looking, I call them my mermaid hooks. <laughs> when I'm sitting there and I, I'll tell Big Daddy, I was like, pass me that mermaid hook. <laughs> and he'll be like, mermaid hook? <laughs> But I call these my mermaid hooks. They are um, very nice hooks. Uh, I like the handle on them. That's, I do have to slide these into a um, handle. One of these. I have those all over the place. I was looking to see if I had any over here not in a, on something right now. I take them off and on. Like, I take these off and on all the time and put these on a different hook or whatever I'm using. Like that particular one, I'll take it off if I, if I need to grab that and I don't have one laying around. I'll just take it off of that one and grab, you know, slip it on this one. But anyway, these hooks are nice. Um, I, I crochet just fine with them. They are on the shorter staff and I believe these come on, came from Amazon. I'm going to try to leave links in the description box under this video so you might can find some of these. Okay, and at some point, Michaels had these, and I'm not Michaels, Hobby Lobby had these bamboo handle hooks, and I, I believe they still do have these. And I was crocheting just fine with these and trucking along. Um, it was a nice hook for me to use. And then I, after using some different hooks, I realized I didn't really like that long, long shaft. That is super long. <laughs> that is a super long shaft. But I was using these a lot. And... I was crocheting just fine with them until I lost another finger and then I realized I needed a shorter shaft. So my hands have changed every time I lost a finger or something like that. Um, I have to rethink, you know, how I'm going to do something and crocheting is just the same. I mean, like everything I do, I have to rethink, okay, I don't have that finger that I used to use for this, so I need to do something different. But um, these longer shaft hooks, like that one looks super long, but they're all, they're all long, <laughs> but I did find that those weren't quite easy for me to use anymore. All right, so... Moving on over to this tray here. Lots of people ask me about these hooks here. These were made by a lady named Tina. And I think her name on YouTube is something like Tina Camper. And it may have a number with it. But she made these hooks for me. And I love them. I do. The handles are really nice. My son Elijah had done these hooks for me. Um, years ago, he also did some loom knit picks for me with the rubber bands on here. But you can see we didn't put anything under those. 
Tina came along and she told me that she puts tinfoil and napkins and things like that in there to make that bigger handle. And so I had told her that measuring around this hook, it doesn't look like it by eye, but that is three inches around. So I told her that's what I was, you know, comfortable using was this three inches. And so she made me these. She sent me one to begin with, I believe, to see if I liked it. And I did. And I use these all the time. I know on video, you probably see me using this one if I'm working on a blanket. Because I like, uh, this is my blanket hook. <laughs> but she sent me these in different sizes. And I'll grab these um, lots, uh, a lot of times to use these. But yeah, they are the boy style head. Right now, I'm finding that the Susan Bates head works a little bit better for me just to keep my yarn from splitting, but it's not perfect. Like, I'll go back to using these two. I'm just trying to relearn to crochet, um, you know, missing another finger. <laughs> but I, I do really like these hooks here. Uh, because they fit in my hand so well. And I'm told that I have a finger hook coming for my birthday. That may be Susan Bates. If I read that correctly. So I'm excited about that. We will see when that comes in. I'll share it with you guys. Um, but I do, I do like, you know, something to grip. I mean, I'm not even having to squeeze or grip anything with you know a bigger handle when I use a small handle like this I'm having to squeeze and grip more and my hand gets tired and starts hurting more so if you have that issue try using a bigger handle and I'll tell you these little pipe things um, come from Amazon I'm not sure what you call them Ugh. I, I don't know what you call them. If anyone knows in the comments below, could you say in the comments below what you would call these little pipes? It was a long pipe, and I just cut them to different sizes. So, here's some of my clover hooks here. <laughs> That's where they all are. They're here with these on them. <laughs> And this is a dot hook right here. So it actually goes up there. And then my little clover. So, yeah, I'm organizing. Is that a clover? Maybe that's my four in the clover. One of those may not be a clover, but it's okay. Let's see. I have a hook here that I got Jessica to make me. But it's a little heavy. It's a little heavy for me. Um, and I was concerned about that. Um, this is a... It's a... No, Jessica didn't make this one. I'm sorry. Someone else made this hook. And it is a little heavy for me. The one Jessica made is actually in the dining room right now this hook is a little bit heavy for me it's a um it's a five millimeter hook it's just a little too heavy i can use it for a little bit but then it gets it gets heavier the more i use it unfortunately and i if i use this hook i use it here at my desk because i know i'm going to drop it as it gets heavier and my hand gets weaker as I'm crocheting, so I don't want to be, um, you know, out somewhere else, like the doctor's office or somewhere, and drop it and break this, because I'm, I cherish this, and I'm very thankful for it. I just, um, you know, am careful about using it, but I think it's super cute. It's adorable to look at. It's like some buttons and some bands around that. So cute. So, so cute. And, um, let me just try to push this back. And let's see what else I got over here. I 
I have this little cup with um, some tweezers that Kim sent me. And I use these tweezers all the time, Kim. And I put the black pair back there on Big Daddy's end table. And he uses them all the time also. And then I have some different little snippet scissors. Here I have an ink pen that I got after I lost my first finger. So I've had this pen a very long time. Let me just test it and see if it still writes. Barely. It, it's running out of ink. And I don't know that that could be changed out. I wish that it could. Or if that could even be pulled out and this stuck on a um, crochet hook. I don't know. It's a little smaller. It's a smaller finger than this. So it wouldn't be really comfortable. Um, but anyway, I used that finger all the time after I lost that first finger. I would grab this. I had it in my purse. When I had to sign something like at the hospital, I'd be like, oh, I got my own pen. And I'd grab my pen <laughs> and sign papers and such. I love to see the look on people's faces. These hooks here, I believe, came from Michael's. They're the larger size, a 8, a 7, and a 10 millimeter hook. And, um, I just picked those up at different times when I would, um, Back in the day, both my kids worked at Michael's at one point or another. So back in the day, we all had to share a vehicle, me and the two boys, well, me and Dakota at first, and then me and Dakota and Elijah, and then Dakota had got a vehicle, and then Dakota's vehicle broke, and he was back to sharing ours for a while. So this is when they both lived at home, and the three of us were sharing a vehicle, and... um Sometimes I would go pick one of them up at night and they would have to stay late. When I would get there, they would say, oh, it's going to be a while. And so I would go in before they close and buy a hook and some yarn if I didn't take anything with me. Um, here I have this little um, hook here that I treated myself to. It is a um, five millimeter hook. Um, it, it's really cute. It has a little kitty cat on it and strawberries. It's kind of strawberry shortcake vibe. It's got a little charm that you can take the charm off because that does get annoying when you're crocheting on a desk or a tabletop. I like that it has a short shaft. But I really needed this not to go tapered right here. I needed it to come on out. Because it tapers down. It causes me a little bit of issues. But it's really cute to look at, right? <laughs> and I think this one had came from that same person. Um, this one is a boy style hook. And this one is a Susan Bates type head. But the same thing with this. I used to use this back in the day a lot. I would use these. But um, just as my... This is a J. Oh, that is a J. But the problem with this is it tapers down. And I really needed it to not taper down right so I need this to be you know big and fat right here instead of tapering down so let me see that is a five boy and a J Susan Bates I just wish the handle wasn't tapered on that and then here is a hook um, Let's see, does it say what size hook this is anywhere? No, it does not. I believe it might be a four. It's a four, maybe a 4.2, 25 or something like that. It is a boy style hook. And I had got this because I, you know, 
first off, my son Dakota makes macarons. And so I got the macaron handle. And I was getting it for, you know, me to have something to grip. And it is easy to grip. It's, you know, you don't have to squeeze your hand and such. Um, and I was trying to get down to using a smaller head for amigurumis. So I wanted a four hook to do amigurumis with. And that's why I ordered this. And I used it for quite a while. And I still can pick it up and use it. I just haven't tried crocheting with smaller heads yet. I'm still trying to learn to crochet with a five or a six with after losing this finger so this hook i'm gonna put in a drawer it's the metal one i i i don't remember what i got that out for but i got it out for something but i have a little drawer with some a little can with some hooks like that in there okay um, these little hooks right here, they are short shaft, but I do have to put these on here to use these because the handle is so small. And these were sent to me with these on here. So I'll put those on there when I use these all the time. I have to put those on because the handle is just too small and my hand starts cramping really fast. But these hooks originally did come to me with these on there. And so, um, I just slipped one of them off of one of these. Where did I stick it? Did I stick it in there? I just slipped the handle off of one. I guess I stuck it in there. Yeah, it was, yeah. So, I used those hooks. Um, I don't know, I don't know anything about these hooks. Um, I think I have seen them on, like, was it Amazon or maybe Timu or somewhere or AliExpress? I've seen this type of handle. And it, I can see where some people would prefer this because of the way it sits in your hand. If I didn't have the hand issues that I have, I can, I can definitely see that being a nice hook. But since I do have issues, I have to have a handle on it. Okay, so let me see. Slip this one back over here. Oh, let me see. So now we're down to this this jar um, cup. Dakota had made me this cup. Um, obviously two fingers ago <laughs> it says llama mama kayla and it, here it has my this hand before i lost the middle finger and this hand before i lost the pinky so we need to cut those off <laughs> so this cup was made two fingers ago so in here what have i got stuck in here well, I can tell you right away, this is a Dollar Tree hook. Um, I just remember buying that, and I had some of these in the car, but that might have been a car ago. <laughs> so they may still be in that car, but I had some Dollar Tree hooks that I ended up putting in a little container and keeping in the car. And I think that was a car ago. Let's see. So, let me just share these hooks with you guys. Oh, now this is a furls hook, which I do like, but this one is heavy. This is um, metal right here, and this, I don't know exactly what material that is, but this is a heavy little sucker. So, when I use this hook, it definitely has to be on a table, not away from a table, not crocheting in my lap or holding my crochet up at a doctor's office or anything like that because I'm going to drop this a bunch of times as it gets heavier in my hands. But it is a very nice hook. Um, I believe it's an eye, maybe. And this is a furls hook also. 
um, is it this one? No, this one. This one is a burl's hook. And let me see if it says, it's an eye. So these are both 5.5 millimeters. Um, this hook is very light and works just fine. It is a longer shaft. But the thing I do worry about this, because I drop stuff so much, I'm so scared I'm going to drop and break this. So I can't really concentrate on my crocheting. Because I don't want to break the hook. The hook is so nice. I just don't want to break it. So, I, um, I only use it on my desk, not away from my desk. Because I don't want to drop it and break it. This right here is, um, is it a, then this one, I believe these are, um, Omi hooks. Omi, I don't know how you say that for sure. This one might not be. This is a, this is a 6.5 divot slip. Anyway, it's wood, and it is smooth, and it does work just fine, except, again, it is a long shaft. And that creates a little difficult for me um, at this time. You know, I can, I can probably go back to using these at another time, but as I've lost fingers, you know, I have to get my crocheting back going. <laughs> this is an 8mm. Um, I ordered this from Amazon. It's an Omni hook. Um, again, it's a long shaft, but it is like the Susan Bates head. It opens up and really grabs the yarn to pull it through. So sometimes that's what I need. Like I have an 8 millimeter hook in this. And I had an 8 millimeter hook in this right here. So these are all three 8 millimeter hooks. But there's a difference in them. Sometimes this one works best for the yarn. Because it's metal. Sometimes this one works best. Because it's plastic. Sometimes this one works better. Because it grabs the yarn. And pulls it through. Better. It depends on the yarn. It's not me. It's the yarn. <laughs> and the hook. Okay. So... Yes, I have three three different eight millimeter hooks here, and you know some people who don't crochet might be like, "Why do you need three of the same size hook?" Because the yarn might work better with the metal, the yarn might work better with the plastic, or the yarn might work better with this deep hook right here. It just depends. So if I'm crocheting with a hook. And say I get this one to begin with, and I'm crocheting something with maybe like a five yarn, a five weight yarn or something, five or six or whatever. And if this isn't working quite well with it, I'll try something. I'll try one of these with the metal. And if it still doesn't work right, I'll try this. And you know, if it needs something to grip it better, if it's splitting, so... Yeah, just because it's same size hook, they're all three di very different hooks. So I just change up all the time. I really do. Okay, so I did that one. Um, this hook here, um, it is a boy style head. It's flat, and I'm trying to think what who is this by? It's a is it a clover? Who is this by? Um. It's a flat hook. I know some of you probably have that hook and you're probably hollering it out to me right now. But this particular one is a 6 millimeter hook. I think I bought this at Michael's one day. Um, it is a 6 millimeter hook. And no, in no time that rubbed off. Can y'all see that's gone? <laughs> like as soon as I started using it, it was gone. I wish that it wasn't flat. I wish that it was more round and that it was bigger around. It is a short shaft, 
with a boy style hook and I know there's inline and all that kind of stuff I'm just saying if it's boy style or um, Susan Bates style because that's the two that we are familiar with you know the two hooks that are sold so anyway I just wish it wasn't flat and I wish it was more round and also that that hadn't rubbed off so fast but I can see the six on here it is a six millimeter hook this is a lighted hook that I did try to use it is a six millimeter it was squeaky as all get out the yarn was just squeak 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 on this um, I didn't see that the lighted hook helped all that much um, I really didn't see that it helped all that much this is a single hook that I bought I do have some other hooks that are not in here with me right now that I'm going to have to do another video on because this video is getting pretty long. But I have some other hooks in different rooms that I'll gather up and do more videos on. Um, this, little, this little hook right here is a 3.5 and I so wanted to use this hook. <laughs> but I have trouble using tiny heads with yarn I have trouble with that so it's not a hook that I was able to use this little hook um, came in a magazine that was in one of the plastic slip a magazine slipped in it and this hook was down in there so I just couldn't use the 3.5 head I've never been able to use anything that small <laughs> These two hooks were sold at Hobby Lobby right before I came into crocheting. I was loom knitting, and they had these hooks clearanced for, um, like, nothing, a dollar or something. And so I picked these up, and I was going to pass them to someone else. And I think I picked up double of them, actually, because they had these two sizes. And so I picked those up and passed one set to someone else. And um, the other set I had in a drawer. And then I started crocheting and came across them and pulled them out. So sometimes I do use these. Um, they are a longer shaft. I mean a shorter shaft. And they do have a deep cut in there. More like a Susan Bates. So I'm able, you know, to grab that yarn and pull it through easier. I, I just need that to be bigger. And these don't really fit. These little sleeves here don't really fit on that. So I do need that to be a bigger handle to be able to use those. So there we have it. I think that's all the hooks that's in here in this room. <laughs> And so we've talked about all those hooks. At the moment, um, I've been using these two hooks here. I've been using this one for amigurumis. It's a 5 millimeter, And then this one is a 5.5. And so I've been using it for baby blankets. I do prefer a 6 millimeter, which is a J-hook for blankets. That is my go-to um hook size for blankets for the drapiness of it because i like the way it you know drapes and it's not just stiff but um yeah that's what that's what i got going on and that's all the hooks in here and then i have some ink pens here <laughs> it's not about ink pens but i have discovered that i need to let loose of all these pins because I can't get the caps off so I need to get rid of all these pins pass them to one of my kids and I need to grab me pins like this here um, like this because I don't need caps I can't get the caps on and off anymore um, just with you know after losing another finger and my hand is very weak I just find that 
um, I just realized that that's what I need to do is get new new um, ink pens <laughs> and pass those to the kids. And this right here is my hork. And um, he is living here. He's been living over here on the side with another thing that people don't want to see on my desk. But um, here's my little hork. And he is part shark and part horse. And yes, that's very odd. I know. I like weird things. It's super weird. <laughs> and I like weird things. Zeke was down here the day that I got this. And he was just fascinated with it. And I said, well, Zeke, you know, I like weird things. The weirder, the better. The more weird it is, the more I like it. And I said, and I just love you. <laughs> and he just laughed. But yeah, that's my hork. He's a little bit heavy. He's a little bit heavy. So Zeke plans on taking him and trying to 3D print him. So he's going to borrow him at some point to do that. But there we go, guys. That is the hooks that's here and here at my desk. Like I said, I have some more hooks in the yarn room. And I also have some in the dining room. But... This video has gotten really long, so we'll talk about those hooks on another day. <laughs> Bye. Bye, friends. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet.